Okay, we got a flower of the week, and once again, it is not a flower. It is a leaf. So I saw this design on a box um, here just a few days ago, and somewhat similar to what I've seen before, but I thought, hmm, there was some some ideas on how to how would I do that leaf and how how would I shade it and all that kind of stuff. So um, got real time kind of stuff going on here. So first of all, I'm going to try and remember how it is I the the, the leaf structure itself. So so it was something like this. So. Once again, main construction line, and then basic shapes. Uh, for those of you who've seen my DVDs, that's probably the number one rule, or rather guideline uh, in building out a design is, is to work from basics to specifics. So, so <clears throat> this um, eh, so something like this. I think uh, some some have called this sort of a, a black leaf uh, design, uh, which I think was, was made, was popularized by a gun engraver by the name of Winston Churchill. So i um, seen some of his work in some gun engraving books and that sort of thing. So um, and I got things going here um, so we can give this a give it a crack here um, I want to do something similar to what I what I've done before as far as maybe I don't know if I'm gonna like this or not but we'll, we'll give it a try so <clears throat> well, let's just uh, use pencil. A lot of people do use pencil. Um, so just uh, same same thing. If you happen to uh, draw directly on leather, which I've done a lot of in the past. Uh, same principles apply. Um, <clears throat> I usually do it with a stylus uh, and not pencil, though I certainly see people using um, <clears throat> pencil, soft lead pencil. Yeah, I think uh, soft lead pencil is well. It'll. Um, erase easily so I don't think that's that big of a deal don't cut heavy to the end of those points Okay, yeah, I've, I've done a leaf similar to this before. Uh, was, a lot of it comes down to what choices we uh, make with regard to shading. And uh, <clears throat> with this, let's start out with a pedal stop right there. That's a, not an uncommon way to to deal with the, the little separation of the three different kind of structures going on there. Case my leather up overnight. I'm sure we've talked about that before. Um, dunk it in water for <clears throat> 
a few seconds depending on how thick it is and how warm the water is and then um, bag it up at least overnight pretty well ready to go by the next day that's where seems like never never failed to get some pretty good color although I know a lot of people, well, maybe not a lot of people, who just uh, kind of hydrate the leather a little bit right before they work it. Don King was one of those. Just had a squirt bottle and uh, I squirted the surface down and away he went on belts and stuff like that. I'm not sure about it saddles of course most of the time with saddles we're working with wet leather to begin with so it's kind of a in order to shape and, and mold things and so on and so forth you could often have wet leather to begin with anyway so just thinking here on the shading ideas that have kind of been running through my mind I think on part of this leaf I'm going to do uh, some swivel cut type of shading and maybe on the other part we'll we'll do something similar to what I've done before um, let's see this is a line shader um, <clears throat> So it had the lines in it already, and I did all I did was just made it thinner. Uh, so lay down a line, some lines that that kind of respect and honor that main main construction line. see kind of what I've done there not sure how well that's gonna work but we're just kind of experimenting having some fun here because each of these side lobes do have kind of a bit of a, a curvature to them they, they each have a main construction line so my point out of course this is obvious and this is kind of going off this direction but see how that curves this way so uh, got something different going on there and and here this is all curving you can see how i made made a transition right in here i'm not sure if that's the uh, right if that's uh gonna work for us i think it will but uh anyhow so <clears throat> let's let's start out here uh, shading with what you've seen me done be do before. I got this little little short pear shader that I've put some lines in. thing is with this with this kind of shading this you can get some pretty good color in there can't you so let's do this one oh, I think that uh, looked pretty nice but uh, <clears throat> also was thinking about using my using a swivel knife to create some shading effects I see folks we've seen that before do one side and then the other and see which one we might like I 
think I'm already kind of coming up with an idea of what I like the best here. What do you think? Thinking that color we get with that, that burnish we get with the shaders, probably going to steal the, steal all the thunder here. Yeah, definitely, um, I like that. Oh, what if we... Yeah, it looks with a, a cut border there. That's another thing I hadn't even thought about until just now going up to a cut border shading up to a, a cut right there Somehow, I, there's something about this that I like better this way. But these are the kind of experiments that are that are worthwhile to kind of play around with and see what what we might like. A little smooth cedar right in there. And Doing some stuff here I don't normally do. Just for fun, doing a little experimenting, but um, <clears throat> I think the point being is that that uh, um, not be afraid to experiment a little bit try try some different stuff and and uh, the way i describe design work and uh, I'm try and put together a curriculum with some of the gesture drawing techniques that i've learned and benefit from is uh, just kind of be in a mode of discovery and not be afraid of what what we might uh, stumble into and and in that sense, um, you know, a little bit of a passenger on a train. We're, trying, we're just along for the ride to try to figure out what might work the best. And uh, so we've got a little bit of a, uh, the artsy right brain kind of stuff going on, but also putting an analytical hat on to try to decide what we might like the best. And uh, so... I'm not too not too thrilled about that the, and I like I, I like the shading on this part and this the shading out of that I think is work working for us um, not sure could come in and do some cross hatching there let's see what that might look like just for fun so this is a Jeremiah Watt cross lined uh, shader yeah, I think that helped a little bit. It was starting to hit some of those. I was picking up some lighter colors where my, I just made a mark on there. Um, and and that helped kind of keep that value, that darker value going on right there. I think that probably helped that a little bit. Well, I may pull this uh, idea out here at some point and, and uh, give this a try again sometime. Take care, folks.